What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to properly color correct in Final Cut Pro X. So first off, let me go ahead and show you the results of before and after the color correction method has been applied. So this right here is before, and this is after I added the color correction. So as you can see, it's a very huge improvement, and it's actually something you want to do to all of your clips. So let me go ahead and show you how I did. So first off, let me go ahead and delete the color corrections I already added, so we can start from the beginning. Just like that. First off, what we want to do is we want to bring up the color board, and you can do that either by clicking here, and click show color board or you can simply hit command 6 and it pops up right up here then you want to open up the video scopes and you do that either by going up to view and click show video scopes or you can simply hit command 7 now once you hit show video scopes you're gonna see a diagram pop up in the middle of the screen and if you don't see the same one as me where it says luma up in the top left corner you want to click on the wheel and be sure that waveform is selected and luma is selected the Luma waveform is meant for correcting the exposure. And in this diagram, we have two main bars. We have the zero bar and we have the 100 bar. And zero represents black and 100 represents white. So we want the bottom of the diagram to barely touch the line at zero and the top to barely touch the line at 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the highlights first, which is the white knob. And as you can see, the highlights are not touching the bar at 100 yet, so we're going to erase it just a bit, just like that. And then we want to decrease the shadows a bit. As you can see, it's not touching the line at zero neither, so decrease that, just like that. So let's go ahead and go back and take a look at before and after already. So click Command-7 to get rid of the video scope, and take a look at before and after. So this is after, and this is before. As you can see, it's already a big difference, and we get a lot of more contrast when we have the effect turned on. So that's a huge improvement. So now we've set the exposure, and it's time to correct the actual color. So you can either correct the color on the same color correction as we did the exposure on, or you can go ahead and click Color Board, and select Add Correction. So now we have a separate correction for color correcting and exposure correcting. So for color correcting, of course, we want to click color. And for this one, we're also going to use a video scope. So go ahead and click Command-7 to bring up the video scopes. And for this one, we're going to use the RGB Parade. And what we want to achieve with this diagram is we want the colors to align at the top and at the bottom. So let's just go ahead and minimize this just a bit like that so we can see our picture better. So let's start off with the highlights, and as we can see, we're clearly lacking in the green part. So let's go ahead and grab the highlights knob, move over to green, and move it up just a bit. And you can just try adjusting where you want to place it exactly. Move it from right to left, and I think this actually is pretty good right there. So now our top looks pretty good, and we want to adjust the bottom now. And as we can see, we, we also need a bit of green down there too, and maybe a little bit of blue. So we grab the shadows knob and we go over to green again in the middle between green and blue because we need green and blue. And then we just play around with it, find the perfect setting. So that looks good right there. So now the color should be pretty straight so we can go ahead and close the video scopes again. And I like to just add a little bit of saturation. You can play around with this too. Take a look at if you boost the highlights or the shadows. You can just play around with it. And yeah, this looks fine to me. So let's go back and take a look at before and after. So this is after and this is before. So let's see the complete before and after. And this is how it looks. So this is after and this is before. So as you can see, huge improvement. And you pretty much want to do this to every clip in your project because there's nothing worse than when the color is off. So that's it guys, that's how I color correct all my videos. You can go ahead and use the same method, I really like it. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.